A shocking video is going viral after a gangbanger grabbed a pen and lunged at a witness in a Utah courtroom Although his intent was to kill the person who was testifying, a nearby female U S. Marshall had a better idea, and that's when she fired four shots Although the footage has just been released, the incident actually took place back on April 21, 2014, as 25-year-old Sayel Angela was on trial for racketeering Come to find out, he was a member of the Salt Lake City's Tongan Crips gang, and the prosecution had secured a rather credible witness According to Ditch Review, a witness named Viola Tunifa, who just so happens to be a former gang member himself, had been called to the stand He told the courts that the gang recruited boys as young as nine to put to work, which included things like beer thefts, robberies, and shooting at opposing gang members As one would imagine, Angelou didn't like being snitched on, so that was about the time he decided to do something about it Without hesitation, the gangbanger stood up, picked up a pen from the table in front of him, and rushed toward Tunipa As he ran across the courtroom, someone could be heard shouting, whoa, 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 whoa in mere seconds, Angela was able to launch an attack, jumping onto the stand while attempting to stab the witness Too bad for him, things were about to go seriously wrong Rather than let the attack play out on the courtroom floor, a nearby you Tess Marshall had a much better idea it wasn't long before a gun was pointed in the direction of the gang banger, and just like that, the U S. Marshall, only identified as Deputy Jane Doe, fired four fatal rounds into Angela. Don't F ing move, someone shouts, according to the Salt Lake Tribune Get on the ground, they add while someone else yells, drop the pen out of your hands and another voice commands they suspect to stay right here, don't move Unfortunately for Angelo, he was already bleeding out on the floor and would eventually die right there And of course, his family was infuriated and even filed an excessive force lawsuit However, things wouldn't turn out the way they had hoped In fact, United States District Judge Johnny Dowdell most recently released the footage of the incident while dismissing the lawsuit Having carefully reviewed the video of Mr. Angelou's swift flight from counsel table, Dowdell wrote in his ruling, his vault over the witness stand with pen in hand, and his attempt to violently attack the shackled witness, the court has little difficulty determining that Doe's use of force to immediately stop Angelou's attack was objectively reasonable under the totality of the circumstances Simply put, Dowdell ruled that because the U.S. Marshal and Tunitha were backed into a corner, there was no other option The video completely contradicts plaintiff's argument that Angelou stopped posing a danger within less than one second of launching himself over the witness stand while making a stabbing motion with a pen in hand, Dowdell said, according to NBC News affiliate KSL Angelou was in custody, but he essentially had escaped custodial control for those seconds during which he was executing his plan to assault the witness His attack was stopped by the shots that Jane Doe rapidly fired in less than one and one half seconds It just goes to show that if you play stupid games, you will most certainly win stupid prizes 
Rafael Angelao learned that the hard way. He was likely only facing some time behind bars, but he wanted to add an attempted murder or homicide charge to his list of crimes. In the end, he got a death sentence instead, and his family has no one to blame but him.